Hey guys, Mars Sengen here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today we are jumping into the giant form stage of Extreme Super Battle Road to check out our boy, the LR Great Ape Vegeta. So those of you who saw the 55% showcase yesterday, obviously you know I pulled a copy of him. I did find a rainbow guest come up on the friends list. So this should be uh, pretty interesting. Now, I had to jump into the stage. I've got the animations turned on now. So you will get to see it, but every single fight in the giant form stage has a Goku as one of the enemies. So we are going to get to see Vegeta's entrance animation in every single fight, which means he is getting that extra key and attack buff. So he is going to be looking pretty good. Um, obviously, when we get hit in slot one, he gets three extra key as well. So he's going to have his full 24 key super here. Um... So we should be looking pretty good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. Kumba greatly lowers attack. Obviously, when he gets hit, he has a chance to stun all super class enemies. The only problem here, we could potentially have a really good showing in slot 1. And then if Kumba gets super attacked in slot 2, we just die straight away. But I don't want to use an item because I want to see how well the Vegeta does here. Because his start of turn defense is 136k. Remember, he does guard. Um... So if Piccolo supers in slot 1, we probably do still take quite a bit of damage. But let's go ahead and see uh, what exactly we are going to do here. So, of course he supers straight away, because why not? Um, 124k, alright. And then 7,000 from the normal attacks. But then, of course, our defense now shoots up when we do our 18 key super. So, let's see what we get here. Can we get some crits? Oh, we crit against... Oh, oh we just one-shot Gohan with the crit. Okay, you'll have to see that. Crit against Goku. I mean, we did almost half of Goku's health, so a crit against him potentially would have been uh, GG. And then... Okay, he didn't super Kumba. Perfect. And then I think Kumba stunned. I'm pretty sure I saw the stun icon appear over Piccolo. Yeah. So Kumba's passive is so good. When Kumba gets an easy A... If he gets, like, ridiculously good start of turn defense, he's going to be insanely good for um, Super Battle Road. So, alright, let's go for... We're going to get hit in slot 1 again to get 3 key. I want to save some of these orbs for Raditz, though, because Raditz is a nuker. So, if we do this, and then do this. So, this is my 55% um, Vegeta. And then we can do... Now, my 55% Vegeta, if he gets supered in slot 1, the rainbow one took like 120k. Would we take more than 200? I assume we probably wouldn't, right? Yeah, I don't think we would. Let's find out. So, yeah, double digits. He's getting some good links with Raditz. He does link up better with Raditz than he does with Kumba, to be fair. 5.5. Again, mine's 55%, so that's not too bad. No support on the rotation. Um, and yeah, he's an AoE, which of course immediately is the reason why I wanted to try him out in uh, ESBR. Because being able to hit everyone... I mean, the fact that he just one-shot Gohan right at the beginning was pretty nice. And then the Easy A Great Apes, Raditz, Vegeta, and the Kid Goku, are all pretty good post Easy A anyway. Yeah, see, so we took out... Um, should we just put you in slot 1? Yeah, might as well. <laughs> Build back up some of this uh, HP. I brought Tora, who is like the weak link on the team, really. But he has uh, attack support, so he's obviously going to be pretty good. And yeah, without getting hit first, with the support from Tora, we're still getting a 7 million attack stat in slot 1 for the Rainbow Vegeta friend. So, and there's that beautiful KO screen. And now, you guys will actually get to see the intro animation. You'll get to see it in the last fight as well, but let's go ahead and uh, get this uh, this bad boy. You're about to learn the hard way that effort alone isn't enough to reach my level. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and do this. We've got a good, ro oh, good, good attack placement here, because we don't have to put Raditz in front of any AGO attacks. And we don't have to put Kid Goku in front of any STR attacks. So that works out quite nicely. You can get your full 24 key if we do this. Although... 
I want to make sure I can get orbs with Raditz. Hmm. So I should really do this so I can get all the int orbs for Raditz. Because Raditz is good um, post super as long as you get enough orbs. Because he is a nuking style unit. So, and this is the rainbow friend. I don't think I need to use an item here as long as we don't get super attacked. Oh, no, wait, this is my one, isn't it? Um, so, do I pop an item here? Kid Goku might die from a super to Vegeta as well. We've already, I guess we've already seen how well he performs without an item active. So, <sighs> I don't know. I'm, te I'm very tempted to, to, to try and go for the no items. Because I've already no items this team, but uh, this stage before. So, you know what? Let's just try it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Alright, so we get hit in slot 1. Get our attack buff. 5.5. This is my 55% one again, remember. So, let's see what we can do damage-wise. Vegeta should take a lot of damage. Yeah, 3 mil. <laughs> Mine does have a level 4 additional. But remember, of course, for an LR, if you get the additional super, um, it's always the 12 key. So... Yeah, I like that. Yeah, the Goku and Vegeta, their intro animations are quite short. So they're not like, they don't overstay their welcome, but they look really cool. Um, yeah, very good. Raditz eats a super, but at least it's tight. Advantage. If Vegeta supers Goku, we die. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, hello. I was hoping we'd be able to get this in a future video because in the 55% showcase I did and the video that I don't think will have gone up yet, we did a full LR Giant 8 power team as like a challenge run on yesterday's stream, but we kept not being able to drop low enough to get the transformation with Vegeta. So this is actually the first time we're going to get to use this with my unit at all, let alone in a video. So yeah, let's do it. I don't know why, but this active skill to me, like the dub threat, is so weird. I don't, I can't even remember. I'm, I'm not like doubting that that's what he says in like the dub version, but <laughs> I, I don't know why. It's just so weird to me. It's like burst open and mix. It's like such a weird thing to say. But all right, so let's uh, let's decimate Goku first of all, and then I guess we'll do this, and then we'll do this. So let's see Great Ape Vegeta going off here. Great Ape mode is usually a bit of a disappointment in terms of like damage. But to be fair, 3.3 million is actually pretty good. Because the thing about Great Ape mode is that you don't take damage for a couple of turns. Which is the major advantage. But for a lot of characters that have this kind of transformation, whether it's like a rage mode or whatever. The trade-off is that you don't really do a lot of damage. Um... But to be fair, 3.3 million attack for his 18 key is pretty good. And he does give himself, I think it's like 5 extra key um, in the ape form, which is good. Yeah, it's weird that his voice doesn't change as a great ape though. Because he should have some sort of uh, like inflection on his voice. Although I feel like it's the same thing people were saying about the Super Saiyan 4s. Where they probably got them to record the lines for the cards, but they didn't tell them there was like... Oh, this is for when he's a great eight, by the way. Because then he, like, they didn't know to do that extra thing. Because I saw people saying that about the Super Saiyan 4s. It was like, oh, they got them to record the quotes, but they didn't tell them that they were Super Saiyan 4. So they didn't do the, like, slightly different voice. I don't know. That's probably not even true. Who knows? But, <laughs> but yeah, the 12 key super are still doing pretty reasonable damage. Um... And then, yeah, we get the 18 key, take out Piccolo. There you go. Great eight for the win and um this is the thing i was talking about with these lrs so you can chain this transformation so we're gonna get the intro animation again now and then we're gonna be able to transform into a great ape straight away <laughs> so let's do that <laughs> There's something funny about the fact that he stood across from Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And he's like, oh, you're about to learn. Oh, no, wait. Why did I gain a bunch of HP? Does Tora heal at the start of the turn? I think he might do. Recovers 
6% HP up to 18% per giant form ally on the team at the start of the turn. God damn you, Tora. <laughs> Look what you did. <laughs> Alright, well, that's fine. Um, so we'll do this. And then we'll target Goku. Oh, we can get seven orbs for Raditz. That's pretty nice. And then I think I am going to use an item here just because of the fact that Tora is a weak link. So, we'll get him to attack lower Goku. Because Tora can potentially take a lot of damage in slot 3. And whilst we could have probably gotten away with it, and then this would have been a nice uh, cheeky no item run. Like I said, I've already no items to stage before. I'd rather not die in the last phase. Because <laughs> we got the rainbow friend. Yeah, look at that. Oh, crit on Trunks. Look at that. Trunks and Tapion got absolutely destroyed. I mean, they're still alive, but man, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> so, decent damage to Goku, although Goku has a ton of HP. So, Tora attack lowers Goku, which is good. Wait, did he take 87k with a Princess Snake active? Oh yeah, he's trash. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, Tora do be doing Tora things, I guess. Um, I actually cannot believe that he's that bad, that he died <laughs> with a Princess Snake active. He took 87k from type neutral. I guess to be fair, he's a very old unit that has no defense in his passive, but <laughs> that is pretty shocking. But at the end of the day, I'm pretty happy with what we got to see out of Great 8 Vegeta. So you know what? I'm keeping it. <laughs> uh, I wanted the Rainbow Vegeta friend. The Vegeta did really well, but Giant 8 power is, uh... A team that definitely needs some more buffs. We got those easy A's for Vegeta, Kid Goku, and Raditz. But where's my easy A's for, like, um, Turles, the Bardock Ape Squad? Like, then the team will be uh, pretty impressive. But I actually really can't believe he took that much damage with a Princess Snake. What a, what a loser. <laughs> but Great A Vegeta, he's pretty cool. So there you go. Let me know what you guys think down below. Yeah, Demigra probably would have been better because uh, unfortunately he's not on the leader skill because Tech Vegeta has giant ape power, not great ape um, power. Because Demigra could have got the stun. He also wouldn't have healed us at the start of the turn. So Tora actually really did ruin everything, didn't he? Because if he hadn't healed us at the start of the turn, if I had somebody else in slot 3, we would have been able to transform Vegeta straight away <laughs> into a great ape. And then it would have been perfectly fine. So he actually genuinely did ruin everything. And I'm going to keep it in because it was kind of funny. So let me know what you guys think of Vegeta down below. Have you tried him out in any Super Battle Road stages? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one